All right, Keith, I walked outside this morning with just a vest because I was like, oh, it's warming up today. It'll yeah. be warmer today. But this morning, it was not warm. No. Well, you're from Turner, so that's yeah. we're going to let that go. That's just a, And we do have a certain pride in that. I actually found myself yesterday morning, like my mom would have been mad because I, you know that whole if your car breaks down, I was ill prepared for that situation. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I have no gloves and like a little puffy jacket on, and it was, yeah, pushing right. it. We, yeah, we're not doing well here. We're not, <laughs> we're not. We're not prepared for this element, but we did moderate today. It was better. It wasn't warm. Got to 30 uh, in Portland. They just updated uh, that. 22 in Bangor. 13 Millinocket. We had some snow showers out there. Thank you. I just got a couple of email reports. Finally, I've been asking all day for what we had for snow out here, and it looks like at about an inch to an inch and a half. So thank you. It's been snowing lightly and even a couple of times moderately. Uh, I thought we would have over an inch, and that's been the case. Those snow showers will diminish. Tonight will be what I would like to call appropriately cold. So it's normal amount of cold, but not frigid like the last few nights have been. Tomorrow is the best day of the work week. You know, eh, I'm not excited about it, but it'll be fine. Mixture of sun and clouds, temperatures 30 to 35, maybe a little bit warmer over southwestern Maine. And I do think we tend towards cloudy during the afternoon. Then here comes a storm on Friday that the meat of it will stay offshore, but it's gonna come in and just clip down East Maine on Friday with some snow and we're really close to this being a lot of snow as you can see but it looks like it'll just hit its stream down east main and that's about it maybe bar harbor eastward is a good way to describe it and then look where we are by saturday morning back into the really cold temperatures below zero perhaps all the way to the immediate coastline so as far as snowfall goes you can see how close we are to this is a foot really close i think we could see three to six inches over stream down east maine the rest of us will see just a couple of snow showers weekends quiet cold then there's this storm this storm has a lot of buzz because the models all agree there's a big storm out here it's got a lot of energy a lot of moisture the question though exact track you can see on this model it's a little bit inside and at this time that is the more likely outcome where we get rain along the coastline and some wind as well and then snow in the mountains and back into uh, New Hampshire and Vermont. There is still though door number two, which I would prefer, which is out to sea just enough to get us snow for pretty much uh, everyone, but I'm not sure which one it is. I do think it's trending a little bit farther west, a little bit warmer. We'll keep an eye on it as we get a, lot of, a little bit closer, but it's definitely a big storm worth watching. So I've got snowflakes there on Monday, but be aware those might be rain along the coastline. The headline of the weekend is just cold again below zero Saturday morning below zero probably in a lot of spots on Sunday morning as well. We get back into the mid 20s by Sunday afternoon and then clearing out on Tuesday Arctic again probably late next week back below zero guys. The other thing about this rain snow line transition is if we end up with the rain side along the coast that means the storm has shifted its wind into our coastline which hmm. would mean it's not just rain but probably wind that could be a problem for us so this is all stuff to you don't want to be caught flat-footed for that one no <laughs> in general I, we don't do the thing and i don't like it with where stations are like it's a weather whatever i'm not gonna use the right i know what you mean weather alert day but like if we had that monday's one of those days where something's going down Got all it. right keith thank you